Yes, hello. It is me, Tanfastagana. I'm back for real this time. Finally. And I have a new bed. And a new hat. That is the extent of the update. So today I want to talk a little bit about why I got into making YouTube videos, because that's a thing that people talk about sometimes, so I'm going to talk about it. So I've loved making videos since I was a really little kid. That's always, like, been a thing that I've loved to do. Um, my dad had this old camera that took videos and I would always play with it all the time. It was mostly videos of, like, my cat and stuff. A lot of the time he would, like, videotape me doing stuff, so we all ha we have all these, like, really dorky family home videos of me and my brothers doing really dumb kid things, and it's pretty great, actually. Um, but when I was in, like, late elementary, early middle school, kind of, um, my parents got me my own camera that was just, like, a- I don't- I don't think it was a cool pics, I think it was something else other than that, but they got me my own camera that I could take to camp, so I could take pictures and videos at camp. Um, and I loved that camera and I used it at camp all the time. And then I think it was eighth grade that I started, like, filming things because I wanted to be on YouTube and I wanted to make YouTube videos. Um, because I had a couple of YouTubers that I watched and I was really into because I was 14 and that's what you do when you're 14. Um, and so I, like, enlisted my brother and my little- my little brother and his friends to be in these, like, dumb videos that I was making. And it was great because I still have most of the footage and I might try and edit it at some point because it's just the worst thing in the entire world. The audio is, like, totally unusable and everyone's a bad actor and it's just, like, the best thing that ever existed. We have a couple of videos of me and my little brother, like, pretending to be YouTubers and, like, talking about things in our life that no one cares about because that's what YouTubers do vast majority of the time. And it's hilarious because I'm, like, this awkward little kid and he's, like, an even awkward, even littler kid because it was back when he was smaller than me, which are days that I sorely miss, by the way. Um, and anyway, I kept kind of sort of making videos. Um, I- my- my plan initially was to start doing YouTube when I was a freshman in college, but then when I became a freshman in college, my- life kind of fell apart because I was a freshman in college and you got to kind of get used to that sort of thing. Um, so instead, like all through high school, I made videos for everything that could be a video, like open creative projects for classes were always like videos that I made. Um, one of them is still on my YouTube channel. It's like privatized so no one can see it, but it's actually pretty funny. It's like a video about stagecraft safety and it's, it's like one of those one of those abused animal charity, you know, you know, the Sarah McLaughlin commercials with the sad animals. It's like one of those, but it's about paintbrushes. And I made it because I was really passive aggressively dragging the people that never washed the paintbrushes in our class. And this is going off on a huge tangent, but that project was actually really fun. And that kind of kindled my video making desires, I suppose. Um, I went to film school, obviously. I am technically a film student, so I've made a couple of films, not actually that many. I think I've made more animated films than I have live action. And the live action ones that I've made have been pretty, like, okay at best. Um, but it's been a lot of fun and I've got to do a lot of fun stuff. And I think I really like making videos and I've kind of wanted to make videos for YouTube for many, many years, so I'm glad that this year I could actually start doing it because it's been an absolute blast. I've had a lot of fun doing this. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm- I'm trying to get with some of my friends to write, like, a real short film that we can actually get a crew for and maybe some funding and try to do it upright. Um, so maybe trying to do that at some point because I- I do actually really like making videos. Obviously, my equipment is crap still, pretty much. Um, but I'm getting there. I mean, I'm a full-time student, so I've got a lot on my plate before I can own better equipment and have a better job. But who knows? Maybe this summer will bring me some, some PA stuff for some grad student films, and I can kind of get my foot in the door for when I eventually 
move to Los Angeles to go and make movies and stuff, because that's sort of the plan at this point. Gonna keep making YouTube videos because I really, really enjoy it. It's a really fun hobby. And I like editing. I mean, editing's super fun. It's a great way to relax and do something creative that doesn't take a whole lot of brain power. At least not at this point. You've seen my videos. You've seen how crappy they are. I don't put a whole lot of effort into these. So, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to talk about doing YouTube and how I really like it and how kind of where it started, like a little little vignette into where it started. Not quite the whole story, but that's a, that's a video for another day because I got to stretch out the content that I have so I don't run out of things because that would also suck. Um, yeah, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this dumb vlog that I made. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I totally forgot my outro. It's been like a straight two months since I've done this, which is very sad. But give me a second. I'm going to think of how it goes. It's something like... See you next time. Damn it, I'm totally messing up and I realized I can't cut this because it's all in one take. Hello, I'm not not blinking for the outro because I just held my eyes open for a very long time. Look at my new bed and my little shelves. It was $20 um, because it's broken. But I am back. I am making videos. It's midterms. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.